All right, what is going on? Andrew Zima, ACZM 326, right here with you for your immediate, immediate 29th annual Royal Rumble review and results video. Royal Rumble held live at the Airway Center in Orlando, Florida, January 24, 2016. It is 11.02 p.m. The Royal Rumble just finished up the whole pay-per-view. Now, now, I'm not just going to review the Royal Rumble match. I'm going to review the whole pay-per-view as a whole. Okay? And I'll say right now, overall, the Royal Rumble match itself, it was a decent rumble. Way better than the past two rumbles, in my opinion. Even the last three rumbles, when John Cena won it back in 2013. This was a decent rumble. Like I said, much better than the years prior. Now, the whole pay-per-view... There were some there were some high points, there were some low points. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna go through each undercard match and then the entire rumble itself. Now, let's start off right now. Let's start off with the motherfucking badass collision between um, Kevin Owens and Dean Ambrose. Besides the Royal Rumble match, which is an entity um, of in and of itself, this was the match of the night by fucking far. These two pulled out all the stops. They did shit I didn't think they were gonna do. The high spots. See, the thing is, with last man standing matches, this has been um, the downfall of last man standing matches over the years. There's too many high spots, like just say, um, one man hits his finisher, referee counts to nine, and the man gets up just before ten. Then he hits his finisher, the referee counts to nine, the man gets up at ten. It's um, too lethargic. It's go match goes on too long like that. When you have back and forth, it's too slow. Here, it was a nice ebb and flow, a crisp, a lot of counters, um, a lot of, like I said, a lot of high spots. It was a great spot early on when, um, actually towards the latter end of the match, the top rope uh, went for some sort of suplex. Um, I'm not sure the technical, the technical term for it, but uh, Kevin Owens hit a suplex on Dean Ambrose from the top rope through the table. That was fucking nasty. That was sick. Right after that, a pop-up powerbomb to Ambrose. That was almost it. Not quite. And it was just a hard-fought battle, man. 22-minute match. I counted it. Or 21, whatever the fuck it was. 20-plus minute match we got of hard-fought fucking action. Finally. Finally, we get just what we want from two indie stars. Two of the greatest uh, workers in the business today. Um, Dean Ambrose, John Moxley, Kevin Steen, Kevin Owens, whoever the fuck you want to call them. Two great in-ring workers. And then the final spot... Fucking sick. That was fucking awesome. I even put on Twitter, uh, that's how you book a last man standing match. You, you thought Kevin Owens was going for the moonsault onto Dean Ambrose right on the steel chairs. No. Ambrose counters, flips Kevin Owens from the top rope all the way through two tables. That was fucking awesome. That was fucking awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Dean Ambrose, like I said... Um, retains his inner Continental Championship, and you know that's what makes me proud to be a wrestling fan. A 20-plus minute hard-fought match like that in front of that type of wrestling crowd in Orlando, Florida. That's what makes me proud to be a wrestling fan. Great fucking match. Hot start to the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Now next we have um, the tag team match between the Usos. And the new day. I'm not really gonna go into it that much, to be honest with you. It was a it was a so so tag team match. I'm, I'm I'm a big fan of tag team wrestling, but like I said, I'm just not a big fan of the Usos. It wasn't a, a, a you know a big match for me. Um, it was it was a pretty good a pretty cool spot towards the end when Big E. Um, it was a nice blind tag. I like blind tags. Uh, it makes sense. You want to try to go behind your opponent's back to try to get the upper hand. So it makes sense. It's logical logical booking. Big E makes the blind tag on Kofi Kingston. As Jimmy or Jay, who the fuck was? I, I can't tell the difference. Um, coming off the top rope, Big E catches him on his right, big right fucking shoulder. Does the big ending. One, two, three. Of course, he had the new trombone into the mix, Xavier Woods. And you can see the crowd wasn't even fucking into the mask. They're saying, um, play, friend, sing, whatever, whatever they're chanting. It's nice to know the universe is uh, into the match. Um, I wasn't into the match either. Um, in the end, the New Day retains their tag team championships like I knew they would. Now next we have a surprise. This is a surprise for me because I predicted earlier today that the uh, the Rio would retain his United States championship because I didn't think they would continue 
that being the booking team, to play hot potato with the United States Championship. But in the end, they did. Um, it was a decent match. It was back and forth. You know, I love the Lucha Libre style because it always brings a high intensity to the match. It makes you that much more focused. It's just, it's fresh. There's a lot of high impact moves. You have a lot of hurricanes. Yeah, you, you have so much moves that you have to, you know, what's he doing there? Top rope moves, springboard elbows, moon salts, uh, whispers in the wind, a phoenix splashes. There's so many moves to keep you into the match. Love the Lucha Libre style. So, um, like I said, it was a decent match. But I'm surprised, like I said, that Kalisto once again is your champion. Who knows? We might have a rematch once again. On Monday Night Raw, Del Rio once again could be the United States Champion. Who knows? I was surprised at least uh, Kalisto won the championship, but underdog story, like I said, everyone loves an underdog story, and we'll see how long he keeps the championship. Who knows? Anyway, so um, now we have the Divas match. We have the Divas match between uh, Becky Lynch and Charlotte. Um, it was a nice promo, nice video package. You gotta uh, give it to the WWE. They always put on great video package right before the match. Um, you had uh, during the match, uh, it was it was great tactical wrestling from the start. You know these two of the best um, women wrestlers in the business going right now in the WWE. And of course, you had the Ric Flair, his classic kiss dealing, will and dealing, uh, son of a gun. He turns around, he kisses Becky Lynch right in the fucking mouth. Um, he slaps, she slaps Ric Flair. Charlotte takes advantage. You know, there's a lot of back and forth going on. Uh, in the end, you see Ric Flair. Um, he, it was a baseball slide by Charlotte, an attempt to get Becky Lynch, but she actually drop kicks her father on the outside of the ring. He get, takes a tumble, like I said, and seeds planted for a possible dissension between father and daughter. Um, anyway, um, they recover while Becky Lynch has a disarmor on Charlotte, almost gonna win. Not really. You see Ric Flair throw his um, nice suede jacket over the face of Becky Lynch. She has to take it off. She's distracted. Blah, blah, blah. All that WWE bullshit. And, of course, um, uh, Charlotte uh, capitalizes with a spear on Becky Lynch. And she retains her Divas Championship like I said she would. And Q Sasha Banks, the boss. She comes out. And she sets up a big feud, money feud, with Charlotte. Now, you um, you can tell us, you can set the possible heel turn between the two. They're about to shake hands. Charlotte turns her back. Bank statement. There you go. So it was a big moment. And it sets up nicely, a nice transition into the meat and potatoes, the Royal Rumble match. Now, I was hoping we'd see a bit more returns. I mean, this was this was a decent Rumble match. This was a decent Rumble match. I was expecting a few more surprise entrants. What are you going to do? We start off with, uh, of course, Roman Reigns and Rusev. And then we have a number three. Number three, AJ Styles. Now, like I said earlier in my previews and predictions, please do not uh, debut AJ Styles inside the Royal Rumble match. And I, I still think it's a mistake right now. I'll stick to my guns. I think it's a mistake. Yes, he had a good showing. It was impressive. It was nice to see AJ Styles for the first time in his career inside a WWE squared circle. However, I think you should have saved him because we know he's not going to win. We know he's not going to win the WWE Championship. You have to save him, like I said, if the night after WrestleMania to make his debut feel that much farther. Not just so he can be tossed out over the top rope, Willie really Nelly, 23 minutes, 23 minutes into the match. That was his a lot of time, apparently, said by Michael Cole. Anyway, uh, I digress. Yeah, yeah, you know, then you, you progress, the third entry, the fourth entry, yeah, Chris Jericho, he was in there for over 50 minutes. Great showing by Chris Jericho. It was great seeing him in the Rumble. Um, um, then you have the White family dominating towards the middle of the match. You had um, Luke Harper, Braun Strowman, Eric Rowan. They were dominating. And then you had the Beast. The fucking Beast. Brock Lesnar. He comes into the match. He dominates. I mean, it's just a sight to see, man. They used to, just seeing him toss around 300 plus pounds men. Tossing around Luke Harper, Eric Rowan like they were nothing. Like the like swatting away a fucking fly. It, it was great to see, man. And then you see um, the collision. It, it was actually pretty... I was laughing my fucking ass off. The right hook that he took the Braun Strowman to get him down. That was, you know... It's just a fucking beast. The Beast incarnate, he's a powerhouse. And it, it set up their match like I, like I predicted. It set their match up for WrestleMania 32. 
You have him eliminate the entire Wyatt family. You have Bray Wyatt stand right in front of the ring. You have then you have the rest of the Wyatt family circling Brock Lesnar on the ring apron, and then you have them eliminate him. Okay, sets up their match for WrestleMania. Should be a great one. Like I said, the promo between Paul Hammond and Bray Wyatt, and then you have the physicality between Brock Lesnar and Bray Wyatt. It's money. Can't wait to see that match. Uh, what else we got? Um, like I said, not too many surprise entrants. I was uh, thinking possible uh, Jeff Hardy could return, um, uh, Daniel Bryan could return, but they didn't. Uh, all in all, we have uh, Roman Reigns early in the match, actually, him being taken out um, by the League of Nations, a big splash by Rusev on the announce table, presumably ending the night for Roman Reigns. He comes back, he attacks Sheamus from behind when he's entering the ring. Um, he makes his triumphant return. He uh, eliminates Alberto Del Rio. Um, um, he eliminates Sheamus. You know, he makes that the babyface return to try to defend his championship because he wants to remain WWE champion. Okay? So then, like I said, as soon as he eliminates um, uh, Sheamus, Triple H, who made his entrance at number 30, he eliminates Roman Reigns. Biggest moment in the match thus far. Crowd's going fucking crazy. It was a huge moment. Triple H, that means right now we are guaranteed a brand new WWE champion. So it comes down to the final two. Okay. And by the way, I don't want to miss this. Early in the match, it was a great moment between these two indie stars, AJ Styles and uh, Kevin Owens going back and forth. Kevin Owens eliminates um, uh, AJ Styles. You see, it was a great moment. Dean Ambrose eliminating Kevin Owens. And then you have Dean Ambrose also eliminating Chris Jericho. That, sets, that was key. That sets up their match for WrestleMania. Possibly, we'll see. Anyway, we had Dean Ambrose, the fan favorite, going against Triple H, um, who was really way over at this time because they eliminated Roman Reigns, who was getting fucking booed out of the building the entire night, getting booed out of the building. So we get to the final two. Now, I'm in my head watching. You know what? This has been a good rumble thus far. But listen, you know, you know. Dean Ambrose is not going to win the WWE Championship. You know he's not. It doesn't make any fucking sense for him to win the championship. So it's a little too obvious at that point. However, you gotta save a little bit of hope. Uh, you see uh, Dean Ambrose going for a shoulder tackle. Almost eliminates Triple H. But then again, big back body drop. Triple H is your 14 time. Four, count him up. 14 time WWE Champion. One behind John Cena, two behind Ric Flair. Okay, fourteen times as your champion. Like I said, it was it was a decent rumble match, much better than 2013, 2014, 2015. Tw 2012 was a good one. Sheamus won it. That was a good rumble, but much better than these last three. Um, the booking team they got it right. They got it right. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm pumped up for tomorrow Monday Night Raw. That was that's the whole key. You wanna create anticipation for the upcoming Monday Night Raws. So you know the Monday Night Raw after the Royal Rumble, you're going to tune in to see what's going to happen regarding Roman Reigns and Triple H because you had that main event match at WrestleMania 32, Triple H versus Roman Reigns. It should be a great match. Okay, like I said, I, like I predicted, you don't want Roman Reigns, the babyface, going into WrestleMania as the champion. You want him to have that underdog story rising up above the authority to become the champion. Booking one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, Overall, it was actually an enjoyable Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Um, guys, if you, if you like my review, that's what I got for you. Out of 10, I had to give this maybe um, 7 or an 8. 7 or an 8. It was a good Royal Rumble. I'll, I'll give it an A. I enjoyed it. Um, the It was little sloppy matches here and there. The Kalisto match with the arena, that was sloppy. The Divas match was a little sloppy. The tag team match, not a big fan of it. That's what brings the grade down. Overall, the last man standing match and the Royal Rumble match. Brought this up there to a 7 or an 8. Um, guys, if you want to follow me down on um, social media, links are down below. Twitter, uh, link, Instagram, Facebook. If you want to see my um, preview predictions video, link is down below. Um, guys, I appreciate you listening to my voice. Have a good night. I will see you later. Peace out.